Family Mount Zion. Hi, everybody. Come on in. Jump online. We're going to start our service in just about a minute here or so. Just want to give everybody a chance to log in and uh, get set up. So go ahead, log in, get set up. We'll start our worship service in about 60 seconds. Good morning, everyone. This is Pastor Steve uh, and Noah, and Sandy's coming in right now, uh, welcoming you to our to church this morning here online. Uh, we're happy to have you with us, and uh, Sandy's going to open us up with some thoughts this morning. Good morning, Mount Zion. Um, well, this has been a different week, as you can see. Uh, you're, you're looking at us from a different location, and one of the things that the Lord has really been speaking to me about is our plans and how man makes their plans. And uh, we all know the scripture, Proverbs 16, 9, that says, We make our plans, but the Lord determines our steps. Um, also, uh, in Psalms 37, 23, it says, The Lord directs the steps of the godly. He delights in every detail of their lives. And I just want to encourage you today. I was talking to Bishop Gaten the other day, and he said, you know, God is in the interruption. That's right. And so as as frazzled as I am, because for those of you that know me, you know I like things in order, my ducks in a row, things planned um, to a T and followed through that way, God is in the interruption. And for me, it's a matter of settling into his peace and his grace and trusting him and asking him in the middle of the interruption, God, what is it you have for me here in this place? Yes. You've come and you've disrupted my plans, but you're ordering my steps, and this journey is yours yes. and mine together, and I don't want to step out of that. So I just want to encourage you today that wherever you are, however you end up there, uh, and whether planned or unplanned, in this case completely unplanned, um, trust him. Trust him and just continue to walk with him and seek him and ask him, God, what is it you have for me in this interruption, in this pause? Um, we say, we, you know, the governor of New York is saying that we are paused, but we know life doesn't pause. That's what's brought us here because life didn't stop just because the governor said, stay home and stop. It goes on, and God is in the midst of whatever is happening in your life. So be encouraged and trust him. And when you're struggling with that, please reach out. We may be distant physically, but we are never, never far from each other. We have all means of, of communication where we can reach out. And thank you to all of you who have been reaching out to us and encouraging us during this time. We appreciate it. My mother appreciates it. She's behind me here. And um, we, are, we are grateful for all of your prayers and your love and your support and your encouragement. Keep it coming. Amen. Thank you and God bless you. Amen. 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 Thanks, Sandy. So where in the world are the Patricks? <laughs> we are in uh, Talmadge, Ohio. Uh, we're in the home of our good friend, of course, our uh, mother, uh, Reverend Dr. Sherry Ann Wool. We're in her home today. Uh, and of course, she's here. She's off camera, uh, but she's in the room today. Say hi, Sherry Ann. Hi, 
Hi. <laughs> um, we came out here this week uh, just to spend some time with her and uh, with our family out here, to minister to them a little bit. Uh, and so we took our show on the road, I guess we could say. Uh, but we're so glad that you're with us this morning because what we're learning and what we'll talk about a little bit later actually today is that uh, God cannot be contained. His spirit, his people cannot be uh, stuffed into a building somewhere. Uh, he is going to get out and his word, is, his gospel is going to get out. And so it's great that we're able to travel, minister, be where we need to be and still share the word with you today this morning so god bless you for being with us today go ahead and log in go ahead and give us a comment let us know that you're there uh, give us a good morning or an amen or a hallelujah uh, if you got a testimony today you can do it in, in 120 characters or less go ahead and put that on our comments and uh, we're just happy to have you with us this morning so father god in jesus name we give you praise and we give you glory and we give you honor lord you are our god and our king and